In this video, we are going to discuss about the per VLAN spanning tree which is PVST plus and rapid PVST which is rapid per VLAN RSTP we will be discussing. So that what are these concepts and how Cisco introduced to it and this is very uh, this is very good time to introduce you to a new concept where Cisco has introduced here which made changes or which made inter which made additions to the STP here. So before that we also discuss about VLANs here. So what is a VLAN and what is and how this VLANs came into picture when we are discussing this PVST plus and RPVST. So you see when IEEE has drafted or introduced that 802.1D STP VLANs does not exist. So since that one spanning tree instance worked across the entire switch and the eventually VLANs were introduced and they created different networks on the same switch here. That means even before the VLANs has introduced the IEEE has given the STP dot 1D model and this is only this only works in the entire switch. That means as we know the concept of VLAN that the VLANs can be created a number on a, on a switch. So it only this STP model only works on the entire switch not on the that network segments there. So since to have changes to that network segments or to establish or enable the STP on each and every network segment on the switch. So they have introduced this per VLAN spanning tree here. So you see per VLAN STP here switch A, switch B, switch D and switch C are connected in a network and you see that the MAC addresses of each switch is given as well as the two interfaces which is incoming interface and outgoing interface are also given with the fast ethernet for switch C is 15 and 20, switch A is 15 and 18 and switch B is 15 and 20 and switch D is 17 and 20 here. So if you see, if you observe switch D has two ways to reach switch A that means through 17 and 20 here. So here implementation of per VLAN STP that one of the interfaces will be blocked here. So you see let us assume that 17 is blocked in this network that means you see 17 and 20 going to the com communication with switch A for switch D here. So to achieve this Cisco added per VLAN STP plus here to block one interface so that the traffic uh, the, the loop is not created in the traffic here. So with this feature Cisco switches ran one STP instance on the entire switch here. So if you take an example here when uh, dot 1W is still did not accommodate but the IEEE what they have done they have multiple spanning tree instance on one switch here. So that considering that the IEEE has introduced the rapid PVST. So rapid PVST will work on each network segment on a switch not on entire switch here. So remember that PVST plus and PVRST which is uh, per VLAN rapid spanning tree protocol both added VLAN number to the bridge ID of every switch that means they add the bridge ID of every switch into their network. So to enable RSTP for each VLAN then you, you use the syntax which in the configuration mode switch in the configuration mode spanning tree mode rapid PVST. So this enables the rapid PVST on a switch. So this is all what we needed is that this works on each and every instance of a network segment in a switch here. So if you see show spanning tree VLAN command then as per you can verify the spanning tree running on it. So you see here the syntax show spanning tree VLAN 10. So it gives VLAN 10 spanning tree is enabled as protocol RSTP rapid spanning tree protocol and root port root ID is given here priority with 24586 which is the root ID of the root port or root switch or root bridge switch selected and address of the switch and cost the cost administrative cost is required to travel to the destination network and also given as a port fast ethernet number here clearly and bridge id port is given as priority sys id ext 10. So, we will be discussing about sys id ext 10 and the bridge id port here. So, you see clearly that two items are the interest in this output first is the spanning tree protocol and the second is the sys id ext 10 here. So, what are these? So, this shows that the bridge priority was configured as 49152. So, what is this bridge ID is configured? 
and VLAN ID is 10 which is added to it. So, these are the information which are valuable for the RSTP and you can by this you can know which is the root bridge and which are the root and designated ports here and how can a load balancing be achieved in the network shown. So, in the network what we have discussed about root switch A, switch B, switch C and switch D how the load balancing is balanced here. So, by using that if you know VLAN 1 and VLAN 5 are being used in the VLAN. So, how we, how we can balance the load? So, by this following syntax we can have a load balancing on two VLANs. You can see here how to configure switch A configuration mode spanning three VLAN 1 priority 4096. In the same way switch B configuration mode spanning three VLAN 5 priority 4096. So, by giving this syntax that the load is balanced with switch A and switch B also here. So, you see you wanted to check that. So, show, show spanning tree syntax is used. So, show spanning tree VLAN 1. So, VLAN information is given for one seg one network segment. Spanning tree is enabled as rapid STP and you see the root ID is given which is 4097 and priority also is given with the address. With the, this is the MAC address of switch A and also it gives you the interface details, role, status, cost and priority number here. If you see here that FA17 is designated forwarded with 128.1 priority number. So, this fast Ethernet 20 is giving as root forward 19 with 128.20 as a priority number here. So, going with switch D show spanning tree VLAN 5. So, as we discussed in switch A VLAN 1. So, on switch D VLAN 5 if you take you see the spanning tree is available as RSTP priority a root ID priority is given. And, my, and address is also given of the switch and if you see here 17 and 20 that 17 is a root forward and designated forward is 20 with given the priority number. So, by this you know we can see the root bridge for VLAN 1 is switch A whereas, root bridge for VLAN 5 is switch B. So, FA pass Ethernet slash 20 is the root port for VLAN 1 and fast Ethernet slash 17 is the root port for VLAN 5 here. So, this is about the PVST plus and rapid PVST and how the VLANs are uh, can be configured with the RSTP and uh, the PVST and RPVST and also you see that the how the ports are been blocked in PVST plus.